So one thing also about technology and about communications is that organizations like the, the foundation who hosted their event yesterday, they're able to share that message with the world in a way that was not possible. Even, even five, 10 years ago, it was not possible. Um, so I was really excited that yesterday, uh, the foundation, alongside it being their fifth, um, along it, you know, with, with having Her Excellency there, they also launched their social media um, in, in an official way. So I was super excited that uh, the foundation got on Instagram, was posting all the time, uh, on Facebook, Twitter now, and I think that organizations, especially on the continent, um, the more that they invest in communicating what they do, the more they will get back, the more returns that they're going to get. And I, I urge organizations to really think strategically about that and to know that it's something that you should budget for. What Adam and Eve were naked in the Garden of Eden? God said, Adam, what did you do? Right? What was the Adam's answer? He didn't say, oh, we could have done this. Oh, he said, the movement that you made me, made me do it. Ladies, men never spoke for us then, they never will. <laughs> we need to get in there and speak for ourselves. We women are ready in giving the opportunity. Above all, last but not the least, men and women must receive equal pay for equal work. In addition to the UN's focus on women's rights, the organization is also committed to human rights for all. If there's one thing, if there's one thing that I think we should all take away from this lecture, going back to analytics is that a lot of what we see is interpretation. You can take the Bible or the Quran or the Constitution or the law, you have to be able to unpack that which is universal, applicable and neutral, and that which is the result of a patriarchal mindset. So uh, you can take a verse in the Bible and you man will interpret it one way, a woman I understand it, but it's important because it's a debate that goes on every religion. How much of what we take as religious law is actually the interpretation of those who are simply conveying their own understanding of that law? And you can question that understanding without questioning God. I think this is really the central thing. Uh, Dr. Kaku was going, I'm sorry sir, because I'm the deputy governor, I have to speak here. And because I can tell you that we appreciate the former boss of our late father. When he was governor for those things, like I said, I was council chairman. He had the deliberate policy that out of the five supervisors of the local government, we must consider two to Apart from early child marriage, there is another thing that is going on that is not uh, open to so many people, is female gentle mutilation. When we saw the uh, statistic, this thing is still going on in so many areas, leading to the death of girls and causing a lot of confusion in marriages. I seize this opportunity to send people back to um, traditional leaders, villages, in the community that there should be eradication of uh, female gender motivation. This practice must be stopped. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I've spent my entire life, particularly my adult life, promoting and supporting women and girls, particularly those in disadvantaged environment, through economic empowerment, education, women's health, and human rights. It is also important to realize that we can only progress in this campaign if men and women work together. These issues are not about women competing with men, but finding synergy that both gender can complement each other. 
So one of my one of my roles with President Banda is she receives many invitations to go and speak at this place and that place and this place and that place. So part of what I do for her is help her to look at where she's going because you know when somebody like her is going to some place, you're attaching your name to a vision, you're attaching your name to something. So when I read uh, the company, pro the foundation's profile, and the, the one thing that really stuck with me is that their mission is to leave things better than the way they found it. And that resonated with me a lot. And that's when I said like, yes, this is something that is worth, it's worth your time. That is a noble cause. And what is amazing about this foundation is that it is, it is the, the kids. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's Professor Agagu's children and family who are so proud of him and they're willing to, you know, besides their day jobs, put together this amazing event, bring, a, bring former presidents, bringing, uh, you know, UN chiefs together you know, to discuss issues that are critical to Africa and the world. And that was truly, truly amazing and inspiring to be a part of that. And I wish them nothing but good luck. So this shows you the quality of uh, Kino's being and I have chosen to associate with us as an association, uh, as an organization, and we're really, really happy and very proud of it. Thank you, Nemi Stafford, I say a special thank you and you know um, hey if I can be a resource I would love to be that um, but I thought it was truly impressive to see how they could mobilize people um, really in honor of their father who was such an incredible statesman and intellectual promoting young people in Nigeria so